catheterism of the normal ureter. We assume that the instruments have been properly sterilized, the patient's urethra filled with the anesthetic antiseptic lubricant, the cystoscope introduced, and the bladder filled and examined. Finding the ureter mouth. The two methods of finding the ureter mouth, i.e. by the interureteric ridge and by the lateral edge of the trigone, have already been described. The ureter orifice lies usually in the middle of the angle of the trigone at the base of its little peninsula. It is a slit, a round hole, or U-shaped. It is flat or slightly elevated, the same color as the surrounding mucosa or a little redder. In order to see it clearly, the beak of the cystoscope must be moved to one side until its prism is almost over the orifice and about one centimeter from it. If it is not discovered at first, one must wait patiently for half a minute or so when a little movement will be seen in the angle of the trigone as the ureter mouth opens to eject the urinary stream. If the cystoscope is rightly placed, we look for one moment right up into the lumen of the ureter. If after a half minute or so, no sign of the ureteral contraction is seen, the ureter catheter should be gently pushed out for about two centimeters and well depressed by turning the lever to a right angle. Following this, one proceeds to make pressure upon different points of the angle of the trigone, using the tip of the catheter to probe any suspected region or laying the whole catheter end against the mucosa and so depressing it in the hope of bringing the adjacent ureter mouth into view. The beginner will carry out these manipulations most successfully if he keeps the catheter fixed and moves catheter and cystoscope as a single instrument. If this also fails, the ureter mouth will have to be discovered by meatoscopy as described below.